Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to SST Guru and today we are going to deal with the lesson Forest and Wildlife Resources Part 1 We have split the geography lesson into two parts so there will be two parts the part 2 will be following soon so today I am not going to teach you the lesson Forest and Wildlife Resources uh, a colleague of me from the SST Guru team will teach you the lesson forest and wildlife resources so let's get started with him guys hello friends sharing is caring you're all aware that we share this planet earth with millions and millions and millions of other living organisms simply we share the blue planet with many 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 other organisms this is a very important uh, sentence and of course a value point. Please take note of it. Flora and fauna in India. Dear friends, India is one of the richest countries as far as this flora and fauna variety is concerned. India is known for its uh, vast biological diversity from the great Himalayas to the dry thaw desert the variety is there everywhere it is estimated about eight percentage of the total species in the world are available in india but unfortunately the nice environment is being degraded day by day because of our total insensitivity shown towards the environment And now we are going to see the classification of species. The species are classified into many categories. Let us see those classifications. Number one, normal species. Normal species are those whose population is normal. It is about the population. It is not about the animal's characteristics. For example, cattle enough number of cattle are there of course they may go up and down but it is under control sal pine etc these are all normal species and next comes the most important term endangered species quite often you might have come across let us see the literal explanation given in the text for the examination purpose. Endangered species are those species which are at the brink of extinction. I repeat, endangered species are those species which are at the brink of extinction. If the negative factors continue, they may become extinct also. That is, if the hostile climate, hostile factors continue to affect the animals, they may become extinct. For example, black buck, crocodile, Indian wild ass, Indian rhino, and these are all the animals that are classified as endangered species. And next comes the classification of species as vulnerable species. Vulnerable species are those species whose population is fast declining and may move into the next category that is higher category endangered species example gangstic dolphin the blue sheep the ancient elephant these animals are under this vulnerable category and next comes uh, the rare species rare species are those animals whose population is small and which may move into the endangered or vulnerable category if the negative or hostile factors continue to be in operation right the animals that are coming under these rare species here are the himalayan brown bear the wild asiatic buffalo the desert fox and the hornbill Then comes friends, the endemic species, very important, 
these are the species which are only found in a particular area due to the natural environment or due to the geographical barriers they are restricted to one particular area if you want to learn the examples for these type of endemic species they are the andaman teal the nicobar pigeon the andaman wild pig and the methun in arunachal pradesh they are all found in this specific area and so they are called as endemic species and then comes the extinct species the classification says this is all extinct species and these species are not found after search in known or likely area where the species may occur it again i repeat extinct species are those species that are not found after search in a known that is their normal habitat or likely area where the species may be found or occur for example the asiatic cheetah the pink headed duck these come under this extinct species category and uh, now the causes of deforestation in india very important topic friends the causes are many let us see some of them in the following frames we obtain resources directly or indirectly for our day to day life this act from us destroys the forest and wild life miserably we extract we get food from the forest only whether it is in the agricultural field or from the jungle we do keep destroying them for helping us the most important one the himalayan herbs that are found only in the uh, himalayan mountain and in the arunachal pradesh these herbs are extracted quite often for uh, as it act as a cure for the a type of cancer so this plant is over exploited and uh, there is a chance and slowly they may also become extinct causes of deforestation in india as i told you earlier there are many causes for deforestation in india to start with when the british were here they took away lot of lands large tracts of lands especially the jungles to create a vast rail network in this entire subcontinent so we lost very heavily due to the rail introduction and then due to the bulging population ever going ever growing population we needed large area of land for cultivation again the trees have to be cut and hence we lost very valuable land there again the jhum cultivation here also the trees are cut for cultivation and again forests were destroyed and finally the example given in the textbook is for making creating constructing large dams large number of dams and large dams in many parts of the country yes they help us help our farmers in irrigation and they help us produce electricity hydroelectricity which is so clean and green but unfortunately the dams submerged lakhs of hectares of land that contain the jungle again it is a very big loss of our valuable forests and one more important cause for deforestation is this open mining mining is very very important industrial activity we need the coal for generating power for example the open mine in baksa in west bengal is a threat to the environment over there guys if you like the podcast share it with your friends not all kind of offered uh, tuitions of course not sst 
particularly subscribe to SST Guru channel to get updates in YouTube like in Facebook to get updates in your newsfeed comment to interact with me with your doubts suggestions and of course correction